<laughs> Welcome to Base Sunday, everybody. I'm your host, Frank Malico. Another terrific show for you today. A little bit of baseball, some unbelievable music and personalities and an inspiring survival story. We're gonna to get to the guests in just a moment. But first, a reminder, you can follow us via Facebook, tweet us on Twitter, or visit our YouTube channel to watch some past segments. Now, we begin today with two people who are fighting the good fight. One, a music legend who dealt with a family member that had cancer, and the other now urging others to be properly screened, especially those in the African-American and minority communities who may not have the resources to reach out and to let them know there's hope out there through clinical trials. Want to say hello to Dana Dornsife. She's the president of Lazarus Cancer Foundation and a spokesperson and musician, voice of the great Tower of Power, Mr. Lenny Williams. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to have you sing a little bit. Is that okay? Mm, okay. Uh, it's All working. Right. Yes. Well, right. tune up yeah. a little bit. Yes. Well, Dana, let's start with Lazarus a little bit here. Um, I love your mission statement, and uh, let me just read a little bit. Sure. It, Lazarus is if resources for cancer patients that, um, that have been told that they really don't have a treatment, mm -hmm. and then you guys step in and take it a little bit further. There's hope out there. There is hope out there. And you know, one of our taglines is building a bridge to hope, dignity, and life for end-stage cancer patients. And this whole trek for me started with a personal um, uh, experience with a, a relative who had cancer, had a, a very dismal chance of survival on chemotherapy regimens. And I started looking into clinical trials and discovered not only how difficult it is to um, get to the information you really need in order to make an informed decision, but also the expenses involved in many cases prevent people from being able to participate in clinical trials. Mike did really well on his trial. He lived for 19 months, and the reason he was able to hang in there was because his family was able to financially support him. And I thought it was fundamentally wrong for other people with, who didn't have the resources or the ability to navigate through all the clinical trial information to not have a chance at hope and life. And now your foundation is, is really reaching out to the minority communities, the African-American mm -hmm. communities that don't have these resources mm -hmm. and need a voice and need a little bit of hope. And that's where you step in, right? Absolutely. Yeah, most definitely, right. So uh, Dana and I, we met and uh, I was just uh, inspired by the work that uh, she's doing with Lazarus. And I also uh, had uh, two family members that uh, passed away from cancer. So I uh, felt, well, what an opportunity to, uh, to come on board and to uh, be able to try to reach out to the uh, minority community, specifically uh, with me, the African American community, and tell them about the clinical trials and to just help them navigate through uh, all of the uh, obstacles uh, that uh, you know, might present themselves. And my guess the people are listening, if people don't know who Lenny is, uh, we're going to share a little clip. I think it's from Soul Train, circa 1970s, something or other, but uh, the voice of Tower Power. Mr. Lenny Williams, 1973. Let's have a listen. Ain't nothing I can say, nothing I can do. I feel so bad, yeah. I feel so blue. I got to make it right. Even if it's me, if it be just me, what's getting bad? All right, I see some toes tapping in here. Right. It brings back a few memories, huh? Yeah, at the, the risk of sounding narcissistic, I. You sound pretty I was, good. I was a pretty good looking guy back then. Yes. <laughs> I love the outfit, too. Yes. Sir. Well, using, uh, using your background as a platform, you're going to be able to reach out to uh, some of the folks in the African American community and maybe get them some help. Um, through your foundation and uh, perhaps a clinical trial and uh, you know maybe save a life or two. Most definitely, yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited, uh, I've got my sleeves rolled up and we're ready to go. Dana, you have a gal here. She's from I Sacramento, do. beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Tell us about her. If you want to hold the picture this up, maybe is, we can uh, get a Her name is Brittany Powell. She's actually a 14 year old who has fought an amazing fight. Hold it up a little um, bit higher, there we go. You know, with, with cancer. She's um, just has incredible courage. Uh, has exhibited unbelievable uh, strength and tenacity and and she's winning the battle with cancer and she's winning it after the medical community gave up on her told her mom to let nature take its course and um, Brittany is now beginning ninth grade she's able to re-engage with her friends and really live a normal 
life for a young girl, and I'm I just get inspiration from her every day. How many uh, How many young people have gone through your program? And it's not it's not just for uh, young folks; for everybody, it's right? It's not. We we reach out to everyone, every type of cancer, every FDA clinical trial, and people from all walks of life. And um, I'd say probably 15 to 20 percent of the patients that we are assisting right now are minors under the age of 18. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, my, we're, we're a relatively young organization. We're just in our fifth year right now. And what really has um, hit home with me over the last six months is the fact that minority communities are so underrepresented, underrepresented in, uh, in clinical trial participation. And so Lazarex is uh, embarking on a pilot program to really engage the minority community. Lenny has been so gracious to lend himself to us as, as an ambassador mm -hmm. to reach out, to spread the word about uh, the importance of clinical trials, that there is an alternative to hospice, which is Lazarex Cancer Foundation, and most importantly, we want to stop the monster before it starts, and we need to get minorities out there to take advantage of screenings. As my wrestling coach once said, if you convince the mind, the body will follow, mm -hmm. and uh, you need some hope, and that's what you're providing yes. these these folks. Lenny, um, I know you've provided a lot of hope for a lot of folks, and you're going to sing us out to break here. Uh, what are you going to sing for us? Um, I'll try to see if I can. Can you dust do, off the pipes a little dust bit? Dust off the pipes and do a little bit of so very hard to go. All right. Yes. Ain't nothing I can say, nothing I can do. I feel so bad, yeah. I feel so blue. I've got to make it right for everyone concerned. Even if it's me, if it's me that's getting burned. So very hard to go. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming Thank in. You, we wish you all the best. Thank Lenny, you. a pleasure. Just so great to meet you. My pleasure. So great to meet you. If you'd like more information about the foundation, you can log on to Lazarex, L-A-Z-E-R-E-X dot org. And up next, a man that has done just about everything in the entertainment world. You're going to meet him when we come back. It's all coming up. Stay right there, folks.